This is a quick video to show on the Samsung S2 that if your power button doesn't work or it's causing it to vibrate like every two seconds this is something you can do to get it to turn on. Well you have to take your motherboard apart get to the power button and actually kind of lift the power button off the motherboard and it'll disable the power button so then it'll never work. See I'm holding it in nothing is happening so what you do on the volume and upside up and down you push them both in at the same time as you plug in your charger try not to hit the power button say I'm holding them in then you plug in your charger and you'll see it vibrated and now it's going into your custom operating system basically a screen so if you wanted to go in and load a custom ROM but now you really can't because your power button doesn't work so you can't access anything so what you do is you go on the side and you hit the volume down button and your Samsung S2 will start which is pretty cool so if you're having the power button issue like I was you can just remove the power button itself and you can still use the phone it'll operate and everything correctly I'll show you um, the other thing is is you can use an app called gravity screen and that will turn your screen on and off by motion or by it sensing if the like the angle of the phone if it's been laid down or if it's been laid on its side and see here the phone now is working and see when I push the power button it doesn't lock the screen or anything so now let me go in and see the gravity screen it will automatically turn on once you go into it and then with the gravity screen you can go through your phone you can go into everything and then when you lay it back down it should shut itself back off or if it like detects an angle it'll turn itself off see if you lay it like face down see but if it detects motion it'll turn itself back on So. That's one way of getting your phone to work without using the power button.